We have a lot of listeners of sermons who are part of our day one community. What are some ways to best listen or be a fully participating listener in a sermon? I always tell my students in my preaching classes that a sermon is innately dialogical, that it requires someone to receive it. And if they can't receive it, you are just monologuing. Because a sermon is, yeah. is eventful. It is something that happens. There is there is a transformation that happens thanks to the presence and gift of the spirit, not the skill of the preacher necessarily, right? In which we find common ground and our faithfulness and we are sent out. And so for listeners, oftentimes what I want to encourage listeners towards is a kind of posture of response, whether mm -hmm. that is... Um, verbal response, whether that is just mental response, um, whether that is embodied response. I always find that every congregation I preach at has little tells, right? Oh. That they're with you, right? Uh -huh. Sometimes it is an amen, keep going preacher. I love sure. that one, right? I love that. But then there's, there are congregations that just grunt, like, mm, <laughs> you know, mm. or congregations that hum, mm, mm -hmm. right? Or one of the congregations I worked with, I discovered that when they got really still, we were together, even to the point where I could like lean forward in the pulpit and they would lean forward too. And you knew, I mean, now it didn't happen every time. Let's sure. be real honest. Yeah. But that is not me. That is them. That is mm. the listeners, right? That is the listeners being, anticipating encountering God in a sermon. That I, I think the best thing that we can do is anticipate that God might just dare show up. Wow. And the spirit might just deign to move. And <laughs> even with the worst preaching, right? Well, not the worst, but even with, you know, the the, the everyday preaching moment right. yeah. that what really is transformative about preaching is the way that the spirit can move and use those words in that moment. Yes. And so my hope is that listeners will come anticipating God might show up and if God does or when God does, that they might be open to letting that word uh, shape them in some way, right? Yep. Whether that is reaffirming God's love for them, whether that is calling them to something, whether that is just reorienting them for the work of the week. All of those things are powerful and transformational. 